Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the Phantom of the Palace and the Getting Your Hands Dirty Challenge all in Sapienza on the professional difficulty. Mine is Mr. Freeze 2244. For this one we're going to bring along our Breaching Charges, Fiber Wire, our Kruger Meyer, and you're going to wear your Italian suit. You can choose any suit you want to really and you don't really need to bring the Fiber Wire but I chose to do it anyway because we're going to use it for one of the kills. So this is the second video I've been uh, using for HDR. Again, I just need your opinion on this. This one is in Sapienza. That's the reason why I'm doing a Sapienza challenge right now instead of Paris. This is the second video I'm doing on HDR, so I need your guys' opinion on what this looks like as well. This will probably be the last video in HDR, depending on the feedback. So let me know uh, what it looks like. So from the start, as you've seen, we just climbed the tower over there, and we just went down the stairs. What we need to do is pick up these two bricks, run here a little bit, and it's going to distract both of these people here just by running down, just r running. And it's the perfect uh, way to distract these two I I idiots out of the way. Just so we can get behind this little bush. We're going to wait for them both to go down the stairs. Before we shoot out the camera. So because in professional mode they hear, they can hear footsteps. So we use that to our advantage to distract them. So it was the perfect uh, chance for us to do that. So from now all we need to do is run inside and go and get a housekeeping disguise. And the best way to do that is just by... Opening this door right here and then throwing a brick that you picked up earlier right in that corner right there. Close the door and then re-pick up the uh, the brick that we here. Uh, because we're going to need that for you later on. And I'll explain that as we I'll go because, uh, yeah, this professional mode seemed very heavy on punch glitches. So this is the reason why we're going to be throwing bricks at people. So, uh, yeah, once we've thrown a brick at this housekeeper, and we're going to thump him in the, uh, the box right here, the crate. And then we're going to take his disguise. Once you've done that, we need to go upstairs, up one floor, and wait for Silvio Caruso to get into position so we can complete the Phantom of the Mansion challenge. Now, the difference between professional difficulty and normal difficulty is now you have to complete the missions for the mission for the challenge to pop up. So, with all these videos, I'll be doing two uh, challenges in one. So uh, that's how uh, I'm going to be doing all the videos and stuff like that. Just to do because if I do them individually, all the timing will be off because you'll be needing to head to the end of the mission, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to we need to wait for Sylvia Cruiser to get into position just below this uh, chandelier. He will be walking in in a few moments. So I'm for the benefit of the video, I'm going to skip to that part. So here's uh, Caruso coming in now. All we've got to do is just release the winch. That will drop his chandelier on his head, and that will kill Sylvia Caruso for an accident kill. So what we need to do now is um, set up the second kill and uh, go and get the laptop dongle because we need to take care of the virus. It's going to become a very, very big chore doing all these challenges and knowing that you have to take out the virus every single time. It's the most annoying part now and it's really highlighted, professional mode really highlighted the fact that, uh, that going for the virus is such a chore when compared to other levels. And it kind of spoils Sapienza a little bit, it's kind of spoiled my opinion on it. Um, it's one of the main, well it's one of the reasons why... Uh, Paris is uh, my favorite map compared to Sapienza, but uh, yeah. Anyway, regardless, uh, we're going to carry on with this and just get on with it. So, what we need to do now is go and get Sal Falcone's uh, disguise, the detective's disguise. So, he's going to be sitting on a bench being asleep over here. We're just going to turn on this radio. We're going to leave it on as well because we need to save time. Because we need to go to the church and get the laptop dongle just to save time when we get into the... Uh, into the um, the virus area, the caves, or what is it called now? The Ether Lab. That's the one. That's the one, Freeze. Right. <laughs> so we're going to carry on into the church now. We need to trigger the conversation between the actual woman and the priest, otherwise, she doesn't move. So we need to get her to move her ass into the uh, area where the morgue is because she's going to go look over her husband or boyfriend's body or something like that, or the her friend or something. And then we're going to subdue her and take her uh, laptop dongle that she dropped on the floor. We're also going to need a church key, so we're just going to wait for this uh, church staff member to leave this area here. We're going to crouch as we enter and grab the church key off the table. And then we're also going to go outside and unlock the uh, the morgue area. So once we've unlocked that now, we've already set that up. So we'll come back to that later. So now all we need to do is go and knock out this guy over here. The guy that's sleeping, yes I know, but uh, we need to create a distraction for Sal Falcone a little bit later. So we're going to grab a couple of coins here and just throw it in this room. Um, 
you want to throw it really in the middle of the room. It didn't really work for me properly because it bounced all the way to the, uh, to the where the sink is, the toilet is. So he just looks at me and says, hey, what's going on? What are you throwing? So I've had to throw another coin. But as long as you throw it in the middle of the room like that, in the f on the first time, it, this shouldn't be a problem at all. I'm making it look harder than it actually is. I'm just being a bit of a noob right now. But either way, we just need to subdue this guy. It doesn't matter how much time you take because you need to wait a little while anyway for self file cone to get in position. So again, he's just not complying to where I want him to go. So we ended up bumping into him and just subduing him. But the whole idea is to subdue him and just dump him in the crate. But he's just being awkward this time. There we go. I promise you it's not that difficult when you actually try it. <laughs> For some reason, it was just it was just like that. So, Sal Falcon at the moment, he's going to be uh, sit, you know standing at a well. He's going to be on the, having it on the phone, having a phone call conversation. In a few moments, he's going to be uh, coming towards his bathroom. We're going to throw a coin near the bathroom, and then we're going to turn on the sink and overflow it to get him to come into the bathroom. And then we're going to hide in the crate. And once he turns off the tap, we're going to throw a brick at his head, and uh, we're going to dump his body in the crate. I've had to re-record this so many times because. Of the notorious punch glitch, I think it's a hell of a lot worse now in professional mode. I'm not completely sure why, but it seems since the update, it's been a lot worse when it comes to the punch glitch. For those of you who don't know what that is, is when you try to subdue uh, an enemy or an NPC, uh, instead of doing the subdue option, it'll punch them in the face as if you was in front of them, and it's incredibly frustrating when you're trying to do some other thing, especially when it comes to the stealth, all that kind of elements of it. Uh, so it's just really irritating. So. Once our Falcone is near the bathroom like that, we're just going to throw a coin on the floor and then overflow the sink like I said, and hide in the crate. Once he's picked up the coin outside, he will hear the sink being overflowed and he'll come in to investigate. For me, he picked up the coin on the floor because the first coin I threw in the, in the room, it landed next to the toilet. That's what he's just spotted on the floor. He's gone to pick it up first and then he's going to tend to the sink. But that's when we're going to leave the crate and then throw the brick at his head. I don't advise subduing because again, like I said, You'll experience the punch glitch on most occasions, so I don't know. It seems it's, this guy seems unsubduable in my experience. I've tried this several times, but again, I experienced that sub, uh, punch glitch is just incredibly annoying. But ultimately, we got his disguise now, so all we need to do is go and get his go and get the laptop dongle from the woman that's in the morgue. You need to watch out for the priest because for some reason he is an enforcer now to this, this disguise. It doesn't really make sense, but. We're going to need to go into the church more. Make sure no one's looking at you when you go in, because otherwise you will get spotted. Make sure you walk slowly as well, uh, otherwise you will get heard from the footsteps. But we're going to subdue this woman here and uh, grab the, the key card and the laptop dongle that she dropped to the floor. And we're going to dump her body in the little freezer right here that's next to it. I don't know if you noticed, but on professional mode, the body that's laying on the gurney there is no longer wearing any uh, scientist clothes. He's now completely like nude, apart from the fact that he's wearing boxer shorts, but it's, it's, that disguise is not there anymore, so they don't even give you that anymore, which I've only just noticed as well, which is quite bizarre. Anyway, we're going to circle around to the beach now and meet uh, Francesca at the pier. You need to watch out for that bodyguard as well, he's an enforcer as well, so that's why we circled on the beach itself, to avoid detection. We're just going to meet Francesca now at the end of the pier, but there is a bodyguard just, you know, just to the right of her, who is an enforcer as well, so when we get closer, Stop running, otherwise you will get detected, and we're just going to walk slowly to her. Talk to her, and then she'll lead you into the tunnel, and that's when you can take her out with the fibre wire or any way you choose. But uh, I'm going to fast forward through this part because it's quite long before we get into the tunnel. So once we're in a tunnel, the only person you need to watch out for is a, a patrolling bodyguard. He's just there on the bench, you've seen the instinct there. But knowing that he's on the bench just there, we are free to garrot the target and we can drag her body and dump her in the crate. Also again, make sure the coast is clear because we're going to need to pull out our breach charge now and breach charge that wall over there. You don't have to throw it, you can place it on the wall if you want to, but it is a lot safer to just throw it. Now once you enter the lab, you make sure you crouch walk through the lab area because you really do not want to get spotted here. You don't want to spoil all that good momentum that you've gained so far. So we're also going to take out the camera that's just over here. 
I also forget about a camera at the end and I do end up getting spotted by a camera but however it does not affect gaining these challenges um, you don't have to get silent assassin when you complete these missions as long as you've done the requirements for these particular challenges it doesn't matter I try to be as stealthy as possible but in the end I just, I just thought you know what I've already got the recording now I'm not going to re-record it again for like the fifth or sixth time so I'm just going to leave it one thing you need to worry about is well when you come up this stage you need to watch out for that guy up there because he, uh, he can spot you when you try and take out the scientist because that's what we're going to do we're going to take out the scientist and grab his disguise you don't have to but I think it's easier trying to escape once you've got that scientist disguise so once he turns around we're going to subdue him and then drag his body in the crate and take his disguise really quickly and then we're going to uh, you know, destroy the virus with the laptop dongle and then we can head to the plane exit once you've destroyed the virus we can head straight to the plane and, uh, and that will complete these two challenges the phantom of the palace and the getting your hands dirty challenge again the destroying the virus has become a little bit of a chore but there's so many enforcers even when you're just wearing a scientist disguise it's quite crazy there we go we got spotted by the camera just like I said but it does, like I said it doesn't matter if you get spotted or anything like that or even if you kill someone because as long as you meet match the requirements of these two particular challenges it doesn't matter whatsoever and as you'll see there, the Phantom of the Mansion and the Getting Your Hands Dirty Challenge is popping up there for you and the unlocks. So that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe here if you are new to the channel. And check the full playlist in the description for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.